Okay, so here is my kitchen. Can you spot my latest little crafty endeavor? <laughs> yes, it is right here. It's my son's kitchen helper, which is kind of like a stool, and he stands here and, uh, I don't know, see, right? He was just painting a birdhouse again, <laughs> and so he just stands on here, and he helps me cook and uh, do all kinds of fun stuff, and I'll be giving one away on my blog. But anyway, it is. it used to be just regular light wood color, and first what I did was I painted it. I used a liquid deglosser dipped in steel wool and just like stripped it or strip, strip the staining part off. And then I uh, sprayed primer on it and then I did this color. And uh, I started doing this because I was going to redecorate my whole kitchen. I am going to redecorate my whole kitchen and uh, probably paint the cabinets white and stuff and I just really wanted this to fit in and it's like a fun thing for me to do. So here is, uh, I decoupaged it after I uh, painted it and everything. I decoupaged it. I got the idea from uh, on Prudent Baby. She had decoupaged a stool and so I was thinking like hey this is a stool and I can you know, also, this was after I painted it, I had seen that, and see, I, um, that is Amy Butler paper, and let's see, it's Amy Butler Lotus paper, and so I just, uh, put that on there, I decoupaged that on, and here is, that is actually ribbon, <laughs> ribbon wrapped around the circle, and then right there, that is, uh, some nice little scrapbook paper, just cut down into a strip. This is actually um, a, what do you call it? That's a file folder <laughs> that I found for a dollar at Michael's. So this is, I love this, yes. That is my latest little crafty project. And walk over here, here's another crafty project that I've done lately. This is a um, Ikea chalkboard that was $13. The other side is a, uh, what do you call it? It's a dry erase board. Let's see, I uh, turned it blue so that it would match with, you know, the same kitchen area. And then I found this paper. It was alphabet scrapbook paper. I just cut it kind of to fit, and I was able to fit the whole alphabet in there. And that is also a decoupage. And so I like it because it um, blends in more with the house, yet it is still like, fun and childlike and everything and so and it was really fun to do so now I'm looking forward to having more projects like this and because I'm still like decorating the rest of my house and so yes that is those are my latest little crafty projects <laughs> what do you think oh yeah I'm also giving away a um it's not all tricked out and pimped out like this but I am going to be giving away a uh, kitchen helper on my blog, so I will put the link to that with the video. So anyway, thanks for watching.